Hi, this is Digital Femme and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about the thing that I got in the mail today from an XR artist, Lisa Padilla, who is out in California. And if you want to know what I received in the mail and what an XR artist is, then continue watching. Hi, I'm glad you stayed. So don't you just love getting things in the mail? I do. I just love packages. And you know what? With this whole advent of internet and email and everything just communicating online and people just get to send messages to each other, the art of writing and mailing is really getting lost. So I really appreciate things that come into the mail, except for bills. But I guess with this whole COVID thing, a lot of people are now shopping online. So everybody's getting packages left, right, and center pretty much. Anyway, here is what I received from the XR artist, Lisa Padilla. First of all, it's stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Check that out. Nerds, cause I am one. An alien, cause I believe in them. This, wow, really beautiful cosmic triangle, which I love. I love this lion. I'm not sure if she created these. I feel like she did. I think she did. I'm not sure, but I'll show you which ones I know definitely that Lisa created. This one looks like, it's funny, it's like a combination of Hello Kitty and uh, the Star Wars Stormtrooper. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, and this one. Oh, this was really nice. Like an astronaut in the solar system. And this one, aw, uh, this one's nice. It's, this one's really nice. I feel like she really created this. And now, this is what I got. Can you hear them? It's buttons. Now, I'm not quite sure of the size of the artwork, but she turned them into buttons. So this one, I really like. It has a lot of nice color. And here's another one. This is my favorite. And the reason why this is my favorite, it's almost like one of those, like it's almost like a transcendent transitioning into transhumanism, not really. But then it also has a touch of like the cosmos, which I just love. I love everything, astronomy and the universe and all that stuff. And this one is, I think this one's pretty neat. If you know who this guy is, then put it in the uh, comments below. Anyway, so I know Lisa Padilla from online, actually. I guess I've known her for maybe almost a decade now, eight years. We are connected on Facebook. That's how I met her through mutual friends on Facebook who I also have not met in real life, which is really interesting. I also know her from Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So XR, what does XR stand for and what is an XR artist? Well, for one, I know that Lisa is the CEO of New Path VR, and obviously it's a company that deals with virtual reality and creating virtual reality apps and experiences. I'll put the link to her website in the description below. So I can only guess that when Lisa refers to herself as an XR artist, I'm thinking more of like a combination of mixed reality, augmented reality and virtual reality. Really, it's almost like different types of ways of experiencing our realities or alternative realities through virtual, augmented or mixed. Like there's also 360 now. Uh, there's got to be more. So it's not a regular term, although I feel like it is now becoming a buzzword, especially now in the past two years or last year. And I know that iPhone has a brand called the iPhone XR, and it I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with what I just told you about in terms of AR, virtual reality, augmented reality, or mixed reality. And I know that the iPhone has a model called iPhone XR, and I'm pretty sure it ha that XR has nothing to do with mixed reality or augmented or virtual reality. Not to say that the iPhone XR cannot handle 
augmented reality or virtual reality apps. I'm just saying. Uh, also, I know that Phil Schiller, one of the executives of Apple, has been known to say that the XR really means nothing. And then he says something like the R at the end of XR is attributed to like sports cars. Anyway, I really love my buttons and I want to give a shout out to Lisa Padilla for sending them to me. On Facebook, she displays her art as um, on her timeline and then I happen to watch it. Actually, she's been doing this for a number of years now, maybe two, three, I'm not even sure, but I do appreciate every time I see her artwork. And a month ago or a few weeks ago, she put a post up and she said, who wants, you know, who would want some of these art pieces? And I was like, oh my God, for real? So she says, just DM me your address. And I said, wow. So I did. And then I got them. So thank you so much, Lisa. I love the stickers. It's time to renew my stickers on my laptop. Now I wonder, should I wait to get a new, I think I should wait to get a new laptop. I do want a new MacBook Air. No, not a MacBook Air. I do want a new MacBook Pro. However, I'm wondering if I should just wait till the, until the new, new one comes along, which probably won't happen till early 2022. Which, you know what? I'm just thinking about it now. I don't think I can wait. Anyway, I have a MacBook Air early 2014. And these are the stickers that I have right now. Um, some stickers might be familiar to you. Some of them might be strange. This is really weird. Here I am anyway. Better stop this. So that's what I wanted to say. Today's video is the 108th video in the 1-1-1000 one, one, one day challenge. And if this is the first time you've heard of it on my channel, the 1-1-1000 one, one, one day challenge is choosing to do one thing for one hour a day for a thousand days straight. And yes, I've chosen to upload one video every day on this YouTube channel. So this being my 108th video, it means that, oh wow guys, I have done 108 videos and you know what yes it's really getting tiring and oh my gosh i'm just going to plow through it so thank you for watching if you liked this video then consider giving it a thumbs up and also subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you'll know every time i upload a video which is every day it's just a matter of when and i'll tell you a hint it's usually really late at night like around mid midnight my time which happens to be Central Standard Time for now until, hey, aren't we getting rid of daylight savings time? I don't know. I read that somewhere on the internet. It's funny what you read on the internet. You can never really believe the things you read on the internet, obviously. And if you do, and even if you do research and there's a number of sites or blogs referencing a certain matter of fact, it still might not be true because honestly, people take things on the internet and run with it and they think it's truth. And it seems like the more people share truths that are really untruths, it makes it a truth. Do you know what I mean? You know what? That should be a video topic. Mm, I'll think about it. Anyway, do consider subscribing. Well, thanks for watching. So wherever you are in this world, hope you have a great day, a great evening and bye-bye. Mm.